Hello everyone. I hope you guys had a great week so far. I just want to share a very quick, uh, very short video. Um, it's going to be an overview from uh, what me and my group did uh, about the final project. Here you can see short and sweet, but actually it's very, very long. So tomorrow, if there is time, we can go in details and go over the code and what we did right and what we did wrong. Today is going to be just short overview just to show you how it's working. Everything kind of makes sense, moves together. Um, the first thing I want to show you very quick is actually our, our last assignment in the project, which is safety. I just want to show you the two planes, 180 degree from each other or 90 degree from the robot home position. So we have a plane from the left side. We have plane of the right side, which means it's not going to allow the robot to go past that plane. Something else I want to add here is the two position or also the way I call it is the safety sphere around the TCP. So to do that, we go to installation and to two position. And from here, we can change it, of course, after we unlock it and make a radius around the TCP. What this does is we'll make sure once we get to this plane from each side, once it touches this sphere, the robot will, will stop. It's not going to continue and the gripper and the piece in the gripper or the gripper itself, they're not going to be able to pass through the plane. That's why we create the sphere. So the sphere is our touch point where once it touches the plane, we'll stop. You can change the radius max uh, at uh, 300 millimeters. I believe here is 125 or 150, something like that. But just so you know. So let's go back and see how the program will play. We made it kind of based on the video, what we see, what we understand. So the first is going to come and pick up a spring from right here. Basically, as you can imagine, the spring is going to come right here, where is this point. Place it down, go home and wait for a signal. When there is a book, of course, we will recognize it's either metal or acrylic. We'll come, pick it up, place it behind the spring, and go home, wait for a signal. The signal is going to be once they're pressed together, there is going to be a little conveyor, which will bring it right here. And then from here, once we know it's they're, they're assembled together and they're ready at this position, we're going to come, pick it up, go up. We're going to rotate it 180 degree, and we're going to place it for torquing. So here is going to be the torque station. Let's see how this is going to play. Also, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prompt the operator so to make sure there is a spring loaded. Yes, there is spring, so we're going to go and pick it up. And then we're going to place it and go home. Mainly we use uh, move L because we need precise movement. It's an option to use some blend radius here and there, but this is just for, for later on. Also, if you guys notice, we are keeping the same Z axis so we don't hit anything. And here we place the, the block. Once we place it, we go home. They're going to get pressed together, and they're going to come here. We're going to receive a signal. It's here. They're together. We're going to come, pick it up. And if you guys notice, after we're up, we're going to spin at 180 degrees. You can notice by the connector. Once it's spin, it's going to go down. We're going to place it, and from here, it's going to be torqued and be done. Thank you guys for watching and 
I will see you tomorrow. I'm very excited to share this project with all of you and see what you guys think, question, tips, what can be done better, and stuff like that. See ya.